My name is Theo Rycroft, I'm the Deputy Ambassador of the UK in France and I'm in Dinar for the 35th edition of the Dinar British and Irish Film Festival and it's the opening night tonight, we're here on the red carpet, I'm here with Anne Duncan, the Director of the British Council in France and it's great to be here. The cultural connections between our two countries are really deep and long-lasting and I think they really unite us to be celebrating such an important part of our culture, our film industry here uh, in Brittany is just is just fantastic. It's a big part of what we do as the as the British Embassy in France to support our creative uh, industries and our artists um, here in France. One of the things that's really important is that we go together and grow together and it's really a way that the UK and France working together our industries actually learn from each other and we see that tonight with some of the filmmakers that are here, with the industry professionals that are part of the DINAR Festival, and it really is something that I think stimulates increased development between our countries and is also helping our film industry to develop and create connections. With a lot of the films that have been selected, those are emerging filmmakers. It's an opportunity for celebration. My hope is that we keep supporting these things because it's exciting to see just what they bring. It's been an amazing year. It is the 120th anniversary of the Entente Cordiale, which is the beginning of the modern era, really. In, in Franco-British relations. And we've celebrated that across art, across culture, across sport with the Olympics, but also on the things that matter in the world because France and Britain aren't just cultural partners, we're partners in the way we operate and we pursue our values together. We have been working together this year on, on new platforms and activities such as the UK France Spotlight and Culture. We've had over 600 partners working on over 50 projects and activities across 25 cities in France and in the UK. I think what's most important is that we see how the UK and France working collaboratively, what that creates. And we're more excited than ever to be accompanying that and to be building those bridges. And I, I think this is more to come.